Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here, welcome you back to some more Dragon Ball Z Budokai in the last episode. Episode, yes, we finally transformed into a Super Saiyan 2 for Gohan, and we just, well, we actually struggled a little bit in the game, um, still actually pulled off the Spirit Bomb, but we were able to eke out a win in the end, and we got the ability Mixed Blood Power, Attack Power Up and Guard Power Up for, um, Half Saiyan, so, um, Kid Gohan, Teen Gohan, and Trunks. So let's continue on. Like I said, this is probably going to be um, the final part of the um, ugh, regular story. Ow. Hey, did that in our fight. Jeez, Cell. Stop shaking around. Yeah, he's not happy. He's kind of like rage quitting this. Oh no. What are we going to do? Cell's going to blow up the Earth. Quite literally. What am I going to do now? I can only think of one way to get him out of here in time. Uh, Goku's got a plan. Goodbye, my friend. Goku! Why would he say that? You did a great job, son, but I have to take it from here. Look! What? What are you doing? Tell your mother. I love her very much. Oh dear. <laughs> you can try to get King Kai out of there. Maybe now. Come on. Nah. No. So yeah, Cell's about to blow himself up. Goku got him out there, took him to King Kai's planet. He didn't leave because he wanted to ensure that Cell actually just like blew up and didn't try anything sneaky. Unfortunately, as we will soon see, oh, it's all this wind all over nowhere. <gasps> Cell's back? It's a very good question, Yamcha. Yeah, so somehow when he blew himself up, he, as part of Cell's nucleus, survived. The final battle. That it is. I'll go into more explanations as to what actually happened um, to, before we get into the fight. Alright, alright, so yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, the cell blew himself up, but apparently, he, he said that as long as the nucleus in his head is intact, he can continue to regenerate. So, one piece of cell somehow survived with the nucleus intact. I don't know how that happened. And he regenerated into his perfect form because he said, like, the form was, like, so powerful that his cells remembered it, some weird stuff. Um, somehow he also learned the instant transmission <laughs> from Goku when he transferred him to King Kai's planet. And since he has the Saiyan cells, he does get a Zenkai boost, which he had quite a huge one um, <laughs> when he got back, considering he blew himself up. So, now, with Cell returning, well, Cell resurrected, Gohan, avenge Goku. We have to go fight Cell one last time. We have Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Kamehameha. The new lead, Super Kamehameha, 
Instant Kill Quick, High Speed Hammer, and Jack Hammer. Super Command Man is actually pretty good. It only needs three key gauges to use, and we can only use it in Super Saiyan 2, so it's actually pretty good. So, um, as long as we're still in Super Saiyan 2, so let's go. This is going to be really tough, though, because we also have not a lot of health. So, oh, great, now he's in his power weighted form. Let's see if I can pull off Super Saiyan 2, it's weird. There we go. Come on, get up. Nope. Yeah, he's really brutal in this room. Yeah, we got it. All right, this is Super Command Mia. Yeah, it does look like he jumps out the way, but it does hit him, so that's good. Oh wow, he's almost dead. We actually might be able to do some one shot. Never mind. Okay. Come on. No. Yes. That could have been really bad. <laughs> Whew. We actually did it. I have to fight self 50 times. So yeah, Super Command Man are really powerful. Uh, I, I promise you this isn't over. What's that? <gasps> Drunk Snow! See, in the show, this wasn't really a fight. <laughs> um, I won't spoil what happens. Oh, we got Cell, though. My name is Cell, and I'm an android created by Dr. Zero's computer. That's great. Great job. Oh, Vegeta's pretty shocked there. Oh no, he got—he really got trunks. My only son. This is the first time Vegeta has any like sort of like actual like feelings for like anyone other than himself, <laughs> and then that happens. Stay out of my way, Vegeta. Oh, nice job, Gohan. Oh, that's not good, though. Kind of broke his arm there. Very soon you will all be dead. Along with your entire planet. Uh-oh. That's not good. He ca Cell calls us the Solar Kamehameha. What's wrong, little warrior? Has your incredible power died? I'm finished. There's no use in fighting back anymore. Come on, Gohan, don't give up. Use the pain of loss. Wait, is that Goku? Dad, is that you? I I can't see you. Are you there? I'm not with you, son. I'm someplace else. But I want you to attack him with the Kamehameha way. That's the only thing I can think of that will lay him out for sure. But I think you know. Dad, I only have a use of one of my arms, and my energy level is less than half. No. You can do it, son. You just have to let go. I'll try it. Look inside yourself. It's there you'll find the power you need. This is very inspirational, actually. Yeah. So Gohan, with one arm, <laughs> is going to use a technique that requires two arms. Okay then. <laughs> and there's Goku somehow. This is called the Father Son Kamehameha, and that is amazing. What was that? Oh, Vegeta there to save the day. Trying to track Cell. Not anymore, you're not, Cell. Alright. 
Look at that, Gohan with one arm beat Cell. Look at that. Now, there was a lot more in that scene than before. I mean, like, all the Z fighters tried to attack Cell. Vegeta was actually not, like, doing anything for the longest time because of his pride, and then he finally was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to go attack Cell and help Gohan. <laughs> ah, so look out. Hey, everyone, it's Goku here. Tenkai's letting hey, me Goku. Out the other world right now, so I really don't have that long. I remember, Bulma told me something a long time ago about how it seemed like I always attract the bad guys. That trust is back. Yay! In a way, that's true. I think the world might just be safer without me. So, I know it might be hard on Chi Chi and Gohan, but don't bother wishing me back to life. Don't worry. We'll meet again one day. I'll be waiting for you. Bye! Bye, Goku. <laughs> we'll see you in about seven years. <laughs> yeah, so Goku's like, you know, I think I need to stay dead because, you know, all the bad guys going after me. And this is the cr these are the credits. We've completed the game. Yay! Or have we? Like I said, I've been, I've been kind of alluding to the fact there have been some things that have been skipped out. Um, there's a reason for that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll explain kind of what happened with this the end there, um, because there's a lot more. Um, it's not in this game, but like, basically, even with everyone attacking Cell with Gohan, um, Gohan almost lost that. And Goku's like, what is going on? Why is Gohan not like, giving it everything he's got? And he realized Gohan was worried about like the fate of the planet, and Goku's like, listen, Go Gohan. We can just use the Dragon Balls, it's fine, just don't worry about it, we'll repair the damage, just go for it. It was Vegeta's last attack that really helped with Gohan to defeat Cell. So, yeah. Yeah, this was, but yeah, that fight is notoriously very, very tough. <laughs> so I was actually surprised I pulled it off like I did. <laughs> so right now they're going through all the scenes from the um, start of the game to like, and somewhat, yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Satan, Hercule. And yeah, they're playing Chala Head Chala, which I think is the intro for the Japanese version of Dragon Ball. Yeah, they use both the. the they have this the ending, and then they have, of course, you know, um, Rock the Dragon for actually starting the game, which is probably the more well known intro for Dragon Ball Z. So, so yeah, but yeah, so this is, so yeah, when you just go through the game the first time, that's, that's kind of how you see here, um, but yeah, we are going to go through it again, um, next episode, um, I will, yeah, we're going to go through it again, but there'll be some differences, actually, and, uh, like I said, I've alluded to some of those differences already, uh, yeah, we'll see. How that goes. Yeah, a lot of people worked on this. It was like the first 3D um, Dragon Ball Z game. So, pretty good actually, for the first one. I like this remix. Alright. That's pretty cool. And. Well, not really. <laughs> Is it going to do the intro again? Yes, it will. I don't want to play that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end off actually pretty soon. Yeah, we don't need to see that. Because this is going to show the intro for like the first part of the game. Alright, so... Next, uh, oh, we'll continue. I'm going to end off here, guys. So, uh, next time on Dragon Ball Z Budokai, as I will show you here, we have a new thing here. Mutually Deadly Foe. We're going to do this episode, because this is like more like a kind of alternate, not real alternate version, but like a switching of the perspective of Dragon Ball Z. So, 
Next time on Dragon Ball Z Budokai, a mutually deadly foe. To me, me the Nintendo Swayman, signing off, and I'll see you guys then. See you later.